Welcome to Top 10 USA, home of the Rocket Platform. Please follow our replacement procedures and be sure to use appropriate ESD standards and techniques throughout the replacement process. If these procedures are not followed appropriately, damage to your equipment may occur. If your machine is covered under the Rocket Plus subscription and you have any questions or concerns, please open a ticket through the Rocket Platform customer portal. Your first step is to access the group manager of your Dell Equalogic Array. There are two methods to accessing your array. If you already know how to access the Dell Equalogic Group Manager, please skip to 1 minute and 9 seconds. If you are utilizing SAN Headquarters, you will want to open and launch SAN Headquarters. Once SAN Headquarters is loaded, on the left hand side of the page you will see a list of current groups managed by SAN Headquarters. From here you will need to select on the particular group with the current issue. You will right click on the group name and select Launch Group Manager and log in using your login credentials. If you are accessing your Dell Equalogic via a web browser, you will open your web browser and in the address bar, either enter the host name of your SAN or enter the management IP address. Once you see a login prompt, please enter your login credentials. Once you are logged into the Equalogic Group Manager, you are going to need to identify the Equalogic array with the issue. On the left hand side of the page, you are going to select on the particular array that currently has a warning indicator. In the center of the screen, you will see a row of tabs across the top of the page. You will need to go to the Maintenance tab of the Dell Equalogic Array. For the right-hand side of the page, you are going to see a section with some identification information of this array. Be sure to click Start LEDs Flashing, and then make note of the service tag of your Dell Equalogic Array. You will need the service tag and LED indication turned on for any service procedure to identify the faulty SAN with ease. When replacing a control module in a Dell Equalogic Array, you will need to first identify through the Group Manager which control module is currently failed and ensure it is in either the secondary state or the not installed state. For you to identify the failed control module, you will go under the Controllers tab in the Group Manager. In the Controllers tab, you can see the information regarding the control modules that are currently installed. The control modules will be in one of three states, active, secondary, and not installed. The not installed state will only be shown if a controller cannot boot or no controller is currently installed. If the control module is in either the secondary or not installed state, then it is safe to proceed with replacing the faulty controller. Please skip to 3 minutes and 8 seconds. If the control module is in the active state, you will need to force it in the secondary state during a period of low IOs or off hours. Log into the group manager and select the member with the faulty control module. Navigate to the Maintenance tab, and under the Maintenance tab, select the option Restart. After selecting the option, you will be prompted to input the management password. Once the password has been accepted, the system will restart the active control module, causing the second control module to take the active role. You must now wait for the faulty control module to reboot and show in the secondary state within the Controllers tab. If the controller still reports as not installed after an hour of waiting, the controller has failed to boot and is safe to replace. Now that you have identified which control module has failed and ensured it is ready for replacement, you will need to identify the positioning of the control module. Navigate to the Status tab. From the Status tab, you can see a graphical representation of the inside of the array on the left-hand side of the tab. Above this graphic, select the Rear View option. This will change the view of the graphic to the rear of the array, allowing you to identify the position of the failed control module. Using the LED indication you had turned on, locate the array. The array should have every indication light on the machine flashing. Verify that it is the correct array using the service tag from the group manager. The service tag of the array should be located on a sticker in the rear of the machine by the controller slots. Once the array has been identified, you will need to turn off the indicator lights. Enter into the Group Manager and select a member with the failed control module. Open up the Maintenance tab and on the right hand side select the option Stop LEDs Flashing. In the rear of the machine you will see the control modules. If the faulty control module is in the secondary state now, it will have a green light for the PWR and an amber light for the ACCT. If the control module is in the Not Installed state, the controller will have a green light for the PWR and a red light for the ERR. The PWR light indicates whether or not the controller is receiving power. The ACCT light indicates whether the control module is active, green, or secondary, amber. The ERR light will light up red to indicate error within the control module during the boot process. Confirm the control module with default matches what was seen in the status tab of the group manager. 
Once you can confirm which control modules are faulted, label the networking cable according to how they are currently oriented. After you have labeled your cables, remove them from the ports. You will see an orange tab with a lever behind it. Push up on the orange tab and swing the lever outwards. Once the lever has opened fully, you will be able to pull the control module straight back until the controller has been fully removed from the array. You will need to move over the SD card from your fault controller to the new controller. In the rear of the controller you will see an SD slot. Push in on the SD card to release it from the SD slot. Now pinch the SD card and pull it out. Insert the SD card into the replacement's SD slot. Open the lever all the way on the replacement controller, then insert it into the slot. Once seated in around 90% of the way, the lever on the control module will begin to catch. Once the lever begins to catch, push the lever inwards until you hear or see the orange tab click into place. Attempt to pull backwards on the controller without releasing the locking mechanism. If the controller stays in place, then the control module has been seated properly. If the controller moves in its slot, then you must reseat the controller. Attach the cables according to how you labeled them. Return to the group manager and confirm that the control module is now showing healthy. If the array is now back to a healthy status, you are safe to close this call out. If the control module fails to come back online or other issues arise, please contact us directly. Thank you for choosing the Rocket Platform, the revolution in hardware maintenance. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by the Top 10 USA Video Production Team. We look forward to sharing more content with you going forward, so please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a new piece of content.